Hi, Christina here, and I'm going to take you through a really quick look and review of these books from SNS Learning Materials called 52 Weekly Stories About Canada that we used over the last school year. Now, I have both the grade 2 to 3 and the grade 5 to 6 book. I'll give you a quick uh, look inside so you can see what it looks like. And this one here. So I have children in grade two, grade three, and grade five right now. And so what I actually did was I actually took this book um, partially apart. I left the first half in here, and then I took the other pages out and put them in uh, Duotang for my third graders so that they weren't trying to share the same book. And then I also took out the little answer key at the back and just kept it in a um, plastic protector. So in the very beginning, my second grader, he did, I believe, the first one of these, and he was having a really hard time, um, kind of with the whole English program that I had put together, and so he ended up doing a different program. He just finished that, so he's getting ready to come back and to jump in and to just do a few of these to finish the year out. Um, they are great stories, though. They're all nonfiction, so all kinds of information the kids are learning about um, Canada, about inventions and history. Um, I'll actually show you the. So in the grade two to three, they're divided into Canadian symbols, Canadian seasons, Canadian birds, I don't know if you can see that, um, wild animals, insects, reptiles and amphibians, sports, athletes, Canadian animals, and Canadian places. And then for the older one, they are broken up into First Nations, people of Canada, early explorers of Canada, famous Canadian disasters, famous Canadian games and sports, famous inventors and their inventions. Famous Canadian food, mysteries and ghost stories, historical women, historical First Nations leaders, famous Canadian places, and then famous Canadian festivals. So I thought it might be better if you actually see what it looks like inside. So here is the beginning of the grade two, three book. So there's usually a picture, a story, and then there's those different sections for grammar and comprehension. This is the second half of that book. like there. And this is the grade five to six book. This one has more in-depth writing, smaller print, as you can see here. All the way to the end. And then in the book, the answers are in the very back here. There you go. Now, um, I think it was a great resource as we're trying to learn about Canada. Every week, I had the kids do one a week. They just learned a lot about Canada, about um, all those different topics. The comprehension part was really good. It was a good way to gauge what they were reading. Um, the grammar part, I felt like it was more like a review of grammar. There was no teaching. There was no um, kind of order. It was just kind of random. So that was a little difficult. But overall, it was a good book. Um, I think my kids enjoyed reading the stories. Um, the grammar part, not so much. But if you are looking to learn more about Canada, this would be good for um, just reading the stories and discussing them, or perhaps for kind of those more like busy work times, maybe you need to have a child do some work while you're helping another child, this would be a great book for that. So that's kind of our take on it and how it worked for us. I'd love to hear if you've used these books, if you um, enjoyed them, if your children enjoyed them. So please leave that in the comments down below. Also, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll try and answer them for you. But I hope you're having a great day. Take care.